she my flavor She can drink it straight with no chaser We get FaceTime a little later Ass so fat I said a prayer Lil mama, don't you know Your ex should've never let you go Oh, oh, oh you my flavor She can drink it straight with no chaser uh, 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 Okay you guys, so I'm gonna kind of do it like a little bit of a talk through in a sense, in a way, whatever, show sure, whatever, whatever, whatever. I like whatever. But anyway, so first things first, um, my eyebrows. Like I like to make sure that they're like really full and make sure that they look really. I don't want to say dark, but I just want to make sure they look like healthy. Okay. So when I do my brows, I literally go a, I go along my brow of what it actually is. I just literally follow the shape of it and then I kind of clean it up. But I do feel like when you create that little bit of an arch right there, it gives you like that mean look like you're a badass. And like, look at this. Like, look at that side and look at this one. So it just makes it look even, you know, more sharp. Like, I got my whole life together and everything in my life is not falling the fuck apart. So literally, when I did, I just go ahead and blend that. And you can see how it already makes everything look different. But like I said, I have to normally do mine a little bit thicker. I normally do mine a little bit thicker. That way when I go to outline it, it's not like I have a skimp brow, you know what I mean? So it lets me create the shape I want with my concealer. Okay. Okay. So I finished my brows and literally I just did them, like I said, dark. And then I put like a lighter powder over top of them. That way that they can kind of, you know, get it together. But my brows, I'm not even gonna lie. They're cousins. They're not sisters. Because I literally don't try to make my brows the same, honestly, because I know that one is different than the other, and I literally just follow along it. Like, to me, I know the symmetry is probably gonna kill y'all. It's my brows, so I'm gonna do what I wanna do with them. You feel me? And I just blend it out, and just make sure everything is like well blended. That's one thing about being a baddie. You can't have your shit unblended. I see what I use on my brow is like blended here. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyes because you guys see my eyes is like a little bit darker. So I'm gonna put that on my eyes and you know, blend it out and whatever and all that other kind of stuff. So let's get into that. Literally, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same stuff I used on my eyebrow to clean it up and pull it down to my brow. I mean, pull it down to my lid. And I don't know if you guys realize, but I don't never really wear eye makeup. I just like to do it like this because it makes my eyes look a little bit more um, awoke and I don't look like a sleepy hoe. And the way I can tell if everything is well blended is after I'm like steady blending, I don't really see a difference. So my foundation, I'm literally just gonna go ahead and start the rest of that. Now I am gonna be wearing like something on my head today. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna make everything go way too up top. I'm just gonna try to keep it down here and then try to, you know, do my thing. But I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to blend, blend, blend. Number one to be in a baddie is you have to have everything well blended. Your foundation has to look right. It can't be out here looking like slummy in these streets cause that's what people gonna talk about you. And I am really like light, 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 light. So my foundation actually brings color back into my skin. I mean, my foundation could go up a couple more shades, but I don't really want it to because I like the little tanner. Uh, you guys can see the difference now. So let's get on to cat fishing. Okay, so now you guys know that my face is like really, really round. So I want to snatch it up. So what I'm going to want to do is basically snatch the hell out of my fucking under eyes because I have to lighten them up. I don't want my makeup to look so flat, you know? This concealer because the one I use on my for my eyebrows, I don't really want it to be creasing underneath my eyes. And then, like I said, I'm gonna snatch, put a line down the middle so we can basically contour and highlight appropriate areas. And I'm talking about we're gonna snatch the hell out of my nose. So then I'm gonna go ahead and try to blend that out effortlessly. Sometimes I end up blending this out a little too much, I'm not even gonna lie. So then I have to end up going back in, but and put more, but we should be cool today. So what I do is I like to go and go against that line, so. And then I like to chisel my nose and do my lips. So basically underneath here, I never used to do that under here, but it makes my lips look way bigger. And I already got big lips, but honey, I like my lips a little extra juicy. And then I do right here. 
And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and do my nose. And then you see I have created this little thing, but then instead of going all the way down like I used to, I now like to go outwards. Now when I go outwards, it creates like a little button kind of thing. And then what I'm gonna do is blend that out. So when I blend that out, it looks really buttony. And also normally I'll go right here, but since I'm wearing a headband today, I'm not gonna do that because it's just gonna get it, it's gonna be pointless. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend. So literally I'm just gonna do my eyes, but I'm not gonna do too much to my eyes because I really don't do much on my eyes. So I'm gonna hit with the Huda Beauty Warm, Obs Warm Brown Obsessions palette. And literally I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit darker here above my crease. And that doesn't really do nothing but give a little bit of dimension. I'm telling you, you guys probably not even gonna be able to see. I'm gonna have to put a lot on for you guys to see. But I'm just not a eyeshadow type of person, I don't know. Y'all know I be faking my most, so. Well, this one's not fake. Evidently, you can see it's still there, but it be getting under the makeup a little bit. So I put that one there. Put this one there. I hate, when I say that, I don't mean like just a, a, an exaggerated wing. I'm talking about people that do wings like always so they fucking right here. I think that shit looks stupid. And I'm not talking about nobody in general because I know how people are. What the hell is going on outside? And then see, that's my nice little wing. And then I'm gonna put my mascara on. My lips look the fuck busted. But anyway. So now I'm ready to put my lashes on. Um, these lashes are some potential lashes that I wanna put on my new lash line that I was thinking about coming out with. And literally, I'm just testing these lashes out. So I can't really say you're gonna purchase any, them anywhere but except for my website if I decide to put them up. But let me know if you guys like them or how you feel about them. Um, literally, but I do like the lashes, the shape of them, I'm just wearing them. You guys know. When you do business, you can't like sell something unless you trust it out yourself first. I do like to take my um, mascara and blend it in, so I will do that in a quick second. And let's move on to the next. You guys know my hair is like kind of short and whatnot. And it's always better if you go with a wig cap that's like skin tone or close. If it's not, you always can make it skin tone, you know? Or you can use a black one if it don't really matter that day. You have to put setting spray on. I like to put this on before I put my um, highlight on because it makes it pop even more. I'm using Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Well, now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it, you know, where the normal highlighted areas are. So literally right here. Y'all, my makeup has gotten better, okay? I don't, I don't want too bone horn. It's really too light for me. That's why I always use my lip liner with it, but I like the way it looks. Then I'm just eating her food, I'm sorry. I can't stop my child from eating, y'all. But um, see what the pretty lips it looks like? So, waze waze, waza waza. Now I'm about to go ahead and apply my wig. I'm not gonna really apply it. I'm just gonna throw the whole on my head and you know, air dry, blow dry and all that kind of stuff because it is kind of wet. Well, today I'm gonna be using hair from my face. This part of my clip got messed up, but this hair is actually from Long Key Hair. So you guys know, they affordable or whatever. The baby hairs and stuff, I made the baby hairs, but I feel like today I just don't want it. Y'all know I don't like baby hairs no more and all the other stuff. So this is Malaysian Loose Wave hair. Um, It's got a frontal and let me see this. So the frontal is 20 inches and then you have the bundles is 226 and a 28. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my hair. So I like the hair, but I'm about to kind of blow dry it real quick. So, cause it's not gonna be glued on my head because you guys know I'm wearing a heat band today. So I'm about to fix her up. Don't you wear me. Not one little bit. I'm gonna lay it down a little bit more with some got to be glue so it doesn't really go anywhere because I want my hair to stay firm under the band, okay? Okay, so these are like the natural curls of the hair. And right here, so I'm gonna take my mini curling arm and literally just kinda give a little something to give it a little curl. It's not gonna really be like abundant amount of curls, but doing this is actually gonna create a little teeny bit more curls. What the fuck? helicopter I'm doing that just doing it in the front though. I'm not gonna do nothing really in the back I'm just gonna do it in the front because it's just gonna create a little bit more volume in the front and then I'm just gonna brush them out so literally I'm doing this for like a couple seconds and booyah I did some curls as you guys can see so what I'm just gonna do is go brush them out just brush them out a little bit you know 
a little spice or whatever and then I'm gonna go ahead and add on to I'm gonna go ahead and complete my look like I said this hair is not glued down at all and then plus I use the guy to be glued and everything to keep my hair down and whatnot so I'll be back in a flash so you guys this is my Instagram baddie look literally I just put my headband on a jean jacket because everybody knows I always wear my jean jacket and then I put like this cami shirt on but it always pushes my boobs up to look in the best they can look and like if I was trying to be a real Instagram baddie I would just have it off my shoulders and stuff like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up do y'all see the transformation okay that I'm giving and also to be an Instagram baddie of course you have to take really bomb pictures so literally if you find really good lighting she gives you the perfect image. I'm gonna show y'all the image that I'm putting in. Literally, this is the image. You know, be a little pouty or whatever with it sometimes. Depends on how you feeling. And I'm gonna be honest, Snapchat takes better photos even if you don't use a filter. It just takes better photos than your regular camera because your regular camera would be too detailed and Snapchat, for some reason, it blurs out some of the imperfections. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know if you want me to do another video like this. You know, this is what I think an Instagram baddie, you know, symbolizes. Not even really because it's designer, it's just because, you know, I like the way I look. I look like effortless, but I'm real cute, but you know, I, I didn't put thought into it, but it kind of feel like I did, you know? So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah. See ya. She my flavor. She can drink it straight with no chaser. We get FaceTime a little later. Ass so fat, I said a prayer.